So, um, so I'm getting some question about how is testing practically happening now that the U.S. is kind of, you know, releasing more tests available for coronavirus. I'm Dr. Larry Bruchette. I'm an ER doctor on the front line with this thing. Um, I've gotten a lot of emails. You know, the ERs that I work in are all prepared. There's protocols of what we do. And when it comes to testing, in both cases, we have to call public health and get their approval before we can swipe and then send off a sample to get tested. So let me explain how that works. When it comes to influenza, for example, there are flu tests everywhere. You can go to a local urgent care. All ERs will have these. They swab it. You get a result within an hour. It's very convenient and can help you answer that question. You don't even need that test. Really, we can diagnose the flu without that swab. But coronavirus, it is not everywhere. No urgent care has coronavirus at this point. Some ERs do, but very few. Most of the time what happens is we take a similar swab from your nose, kind of the back of your nose and mouth, send it off to the public health department. Now remember, this wasn't in every state to begin with. It'll be released more and more. There's a handful. There's many of them in California, but not every, even every county has this. So you got to send it off to public health. They run the test, which takes, I don't know, a matter of hours. Uh, and then there has to be a confirmation where they send part of the sample to the CDC. The CDC confirms it. The whole process takes a long time. The initial one where we send it to public health might be two or three days before you get that result. This is not a very practical test. Uh, it's not a very convenient test. But here's what's happened in my experience already. Um, I didn't have this patient, but we, we had somebody in one of my hospitals where there was a real concern about coronavirus. There was a known exposure. And we're like, we need to test this person. So we called public health, there was no answer. We called them over and over and couldn't get a hold of them. Now I'm guessing that they're getting, so, they're getting inundated with so many calls and they, there's a limited number of tests at this point. So we don't have that information. What you're gonna see is this is gonna get worse before it gets better, meaning we're gonna have more cases of corona that's diagnosed, because right now I think there's cases that we're not even diagnosing because we don't have enough stuff because public health departments aren't calling us back. You're gonna see more cases. We are gonna see more deaths. Don't freak out. Like, this is what to anticipate. But early on, testing-wise, um, to be honest, as a doctor, it's a pain in the ass. I gotta call them. I gotta get their approval. We gotta send it off. I don't even get the result for a couple, three days. Like. It's a very difficult process. Then they're gonna follow up with somebody. You know, do you quarantine them if you just send a test? There's all these implications of this stuff that's messy, that's gonna take time and effort. And I'm sure these public health departments are completely overwhelmed. Um, but testing's not going well. It's not going very well in the beginning to, at all, to be honest, in my experience.